When it comes to rendering a list of data, a common scenario that often comes up is when you want to loop through a list of items, but you need to edit something directly within that list. And so typically, you would probably use a v4 loop along with the v model. But sometimes things can go a little awry. And this episode dives into a situation that I ran into recently. Hey, what's up everyone? My name is Ben Hong and I'm a Vue.js core team member. Today we're here to look at a bug that I ran into recently when we were building the Vue to Do's app and we wanted to toggle an edit state on the to do item. So let's go ahead and take a look at what happened. All right, so I'm here inside my Vue Your To Do project. And so you can see now if I go, so I open it up in localhost 3000, it's a production. And so what you see here is that when we go ahead and add, like let's say we had milk, tacos, and let's say I screwed up the spelling on sandwich, for example, then I would want to edit this. And you'll see that when I go ahead and edit it, you'll see that it's kind of acting up. Like it's almost like it's like losing focus and I have to come back in and it's just, it's just weird. And so I keep having to click back in. And so when it comes to debugging this stuff, let's go ahead and dive into what's going on exactly. So typically when we're talking about rendering problems, um, it's usually a tricky thing where you want to take a look at, you know, one, make sure that there's no bug as far as like how things are wired up. So, you know, typically I'd go ahead and look in here and let's say, so we can see here that our task. So again, if I were to debug this right now, Let's go ahead. So what I want to do is I want to go ahead and check out tasks in view. This is something I just kind of want to see as a whole. Task in view here. All right, so we have a, a list of different things. Um, and so to be honest, it would probably be easier because that's actually kind of hard to read. So I might actually just switch out the text here instead of task list label and just save it and just render everything out. And so let me see. So if I go ahead and drop this out, okay, so we can see here that that's what's happening. So what's interesting here though, is that when we go ahead and check, we want to make sure that everything's updating. So you can see that completes actually updating to true. And then everything is, seems to be changing correctly. And then when I come in here and update, let's see, we don't want this to be a V if, so let's go ahead and delete these for now and show both. So if we want to edit something, you'll see that when this updates, you'll see that taco, so it did update. And so this is a little weird, right? You're like, why is it kind of glitching in and out? And so in this case, as I'm looking at this, one of the things you have to remember when it comes to rendering items on a list is that one of the key variables that come into play when it comes to rendering is funny enough called the key. And so when we're looking back over here at our list, you'll notice something that I did when I was sort of building out the MVP, which is that I had assigned the key of our list onto our label. And so let's think about that for a moment. So I'll be the first to admit that when I first built out this uh, prototype, I was thinking, well, I'll just make sure that the labels are unique. After all, right, we have milk, we have taco or talk off in this case, and we have sandwi here that is, um, they're all unique. And so certainly this would become problematic if say I wanted a second milk item, right? Now now we, we would probably have some problems and let's see, we're on V right now. So unlikely, yeah, I don't see any warnings, but typically you'd be like, you'd probably get a warning that was like, hey, multiple, you know, there's multiple um, elements on here with the same key. And so I knew that, okay, so I knew that was a flaw, but like I, it, what was odd to me here though is that everything should be unique. There's nothing that's identical. And so, you know, after sort of reviewing the code and um, there was someone actually, um, uh, S. Mesley, who also came in with a PR just to like sort of assist with this. But what we have here though, if you think about it, is that what we're V modeling here with the input, we're actually editing the key itself if you think about it. So every time we're updating the key, view is essentially re-rendering the item, which is why we lose focus from it. And so this is um, kind of an interesting bug that we inadvertently create, but you know, bugs are a great way to sort of learn, like they're great learning opportunities. And so all we have to do in this case is actually swap it back uh, by swap it back. So all we have to do in this case is instead of having something like label, which is something that we're actually dynamically updating and we already knew was problematic, is we're actually gonna sort it out by the actual ID since we already have the unique identifier in here. So I go ahead and save that now. What we'll see is that when I go ahead and 
update this time, you'll see that everything is working. So I can type full speed. This is my typing speed. Everything's updating correctly. Taco is updating, the label is updating, but we don't have that weird glitch anymore. And that's because now Vue knows that we should keep this item stable, right? Because we have this unique ID and now we're good to go. So the next time you see some sort of weird UI glitch inside of your app, the first place I would definitely recommend checking is your key and see what you're dynamically binding it to and making sure that one, there's no other conflicts or two, you didn't end up in a situation like I did where you're accidentally updating the key, which is basically triggering a re-render by view. I hope you found this helpful. I certainly learned my lesson when it comes to dynamically binding keys. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.